it's been a really long time. I've been really busy, and part of the reason why I don't have any videos for the last month is that I got a new computer, and I couldn't figure out how to get the camcorder to work with the computer. Here it is. It's pretty. It doesn't work right though, so I'm trying to get it fixed. But anyway, um, a lot's happened since my last video. I am now single, and that's okay because I guess it needed to happen. It wasn't a bad breakup. We only had one little fight, and I think that's over with now, so. But I am making a shirt because I realized that I don't have any shirts that pretty much, like, advertise that I'm gay. It's kind of hard to find a boy when no one knows that you're gay. So, I am making a shirt so that everyone will know that I'm gay. And I thought maybe you'd want to watch, even though you can't see what I'm doing. So anyway, um, classes are going pretty well. And I don't know what else to talk about. There's a couple of boys that I have been talking to, but none of them are like... Well, one of them is a good one, but... The other ones are mostly just friends. And I've been hanging out a lot on the um, this thing called Manhunt. And they have a... I got an email from them today saying that they're expanding. And they're like, we're now in all these countries in Latin America. And I'm like... I'm in Michigan. Why would I really care if some guy is horny in Latin America? You know, it seems kind of silly, but I guess that's what the crazy things with the internet. Everyone's so eager to offer you the useless stuff you don't need. But lately I've made a couple of cool friends on the internet. A lot of people one of my friends I don't know in person because they're from like all over the place. I know one guy in oh I forgot where he lives. He's not gonna like that. Um, but he's pretty cool. He's an accountant. He's kind of crazy. I talk to him a lot and complain. So sorry for complaining so much. And then there's another guy who basically has been pestering me to do an update, which is part of the reason why I'm doing this one. And I was talking to him online, and he's waiting right now for me to finish this so that we can continue talking. But he's pretty cool. He doesn't have any videos up yet, but if he does and they're cool, then I'll comment on them and put a link to it in my videos so that everyone can see him. Oh, I also worked out today, and I definitely worked out way too hard, because I rode my bike to the gym, and then I realized that I didn't have my ID to get in, so I had to ride my bike back, and then go back there again, like a third time, so I felt really dumb, but lately I've been able to run two miles, which I'm really proud about. It's really nice to be able to finally run, like, multiple miles per day instead of just a few laps. And my asthma's been doing really well. I haven't had any problems. Um, the other night, the other day, I think last Friday, so almost a week ago, my alarm clocks malfunctioned, and I slept through my two morning classes. And then I went to the stack. And I uh, ran into my English professor, whose class I slept through, and he talked to me, and I felt really dumb for, you know, being right there. And he obviously knew I wasn't sick or, you know, run over by a car or something to have an excuse for missing class, and so I felt really dumb. And then I realized that I didn't know if our paper was due, so I ended up having to email him and point out that I had missed class. And so I felt really dumb. And then, earlier this week, I ran into him at the sack again, and I saw him, but I... 
I saw him before he saw me, and I tried to pretend like I didn't see him. And I guess he saw me and waved and said hi, but I had my earphones in. And I was trying not to pay attention to him. And so I didn't hear him, and I wasn't looking, so I didn't see him wave. And in class, yesterday he um, pointed out to the entire class that he saw me at the sack, which is the gym, and that he waved and said hi, and I walked by him. And so I felt really bad because the entire class was like listening to him talk about how I kind of pretended like he wasn't there. So I think that's all for now. I'll do another update when the shirt's done so you can all see what it says. Kind of like a big unveiling. Oh, yeah, I'm using this stuff that's uh, <laughs> fabric paint. And a long, long, long time ago, I, my parents used to use this stuff called fabric paint. And it was this like goopy, gloppy, and messy stuff that kind of made the shirts look really, really bad. But this stuff like paints on like real paint, and it kind of looks like silk screen if you do it really carefully. So, I uh, I highly recommend it if you have shirts you want to make that say things that you can't find anywhere in stores. And I think that's it for now.